Hi, I'm Jenny Barnett Roars, your host. There is nothing like travel to inspire creative ideas. Today, Katie Hacker is here with me to create cityscapes inspired by some of our favorite city sites. Hey, Katie. Hi, Jenny. Aren't these fun? This is a great way to capture your travels. I think that's such a great idea, and you can kind of relive your favorite travel memories over and over again. That's right. What you do we need to get started? Well, first of all, you can save some old maps, or you can use an old atlas. OK. OK, you can also, you'll need some watercolors if you want to create your own background, and I'll show you how to do that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll also have some black paper or cardstock for mm -hmm. making doors and windows on our buildings. Okay. We're going to use boxes from around the house. Okay. Or if you want to have very specific shapes, then you can use styrofoam blocks. Great. And we'll also, of course, need our regular tools for cutting styrofoam. We'll need a plastic knife. Mm -hmm. We'll also need scissors, glue stick. And if you're going to do painting, then you want to have your water and brush ready to go. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So to get started, what mm -hmm. we'll do is start by just wrapping a box. Oh, okay. And when you're using an atlas, you know, it has staples in the middle, uh -huh. but this does give you a nice big piece, sort of like a wrapping paper, or oh. you could use a piece from the newspaper if you wanted to, That's the place a clever that you visited. Idea. So just make sure that you open those up. So you could and actually then, even use a craft stick to kind of pry yeah, them open. That's right, or you can have an adult use a butter knife or something to do it for you. Okay. Yeah. So then you can take your box. Okay. And then you're just going to wrap it just like a gift. Oh, that's great. So we'll wrap this around, and I like to make it so that my seam isn't right down the middle of the building. But, let let that know. fold work for you, yeah, not against you. Do you need right. me to hold that for you and sure, maybe crease thanks. it? That would be great. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and glue this down. Okay. I'll spread my glue on the box here. Mm -hmm. now, does this glue stay purple or is it going to dry clear? You don't need to worry about that. The best part about it being purple is that it disappears. Mm. But when it's purple, then you know exactly where it is, right? That's great. You got right. it, yeah. So then you know that you've covered your whole mm -hmm. surface. This seems like a great way to recycle, too. Definitely. Any cardboard boxes you might have laying around at home are kind of... Yeah. Instant inspiration. That's right. And then you can just glue it all down. Okay. Do you want right. to move this one out of the way for you? And that looks fine. And then for the one more little bit of glue we'll there. Do that. Yep. And then we'll also do the ends, of course. Okay. So we'll go ahead and glue our ends. Is this like testing your gift wrap gift wrapping skills yes, that's or right. practicing you might for holidays? <laughs> you could practice. That's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. And you can trim it down if you need to. This is almost a perfect fit. It is really close. So I'll just go ahead and glue my other end here. Okay, and I'll fold this one in while you're working on that end. Sounds good. It's nice to have a partner to make That's things right. go fast. That's why we like to craft with friends. We'll put some glue here. Mm -hmm. And you can also tuck some glue underneath so that it stays nice and blush. Okay. All right, so now while you're waiting for this to dry, mm -hmm. of course, you can have your friend hold it together or you can put a book on it. Mm, okay. Okay, so now we are ready to cut some windows and doors. Oh, okay. We'll and what about using stick. the styrofoam? You mentioned that maybe we would want to make some shapes. Yeah, sure. Can I make some you shapes? Make, sure. We I can do. make a I like shape. To... All right. So what you could do here is if you wanted to make a rooftop, mm -hmm. just How do go we do ahead that? and cut. And I just kind of eyeball here mm -hmm. as your line. So make your line first. Great. And then go ahead and, and really you just need a, a plastic out. knife for that? Right. That's just simple. use your serrated knife. Yep, just like that. And use your gentle sawing motion. Mm -hmm. Press it all the way down. Boom. And then you can do, I'll just use my atlas here to do my sanding. Oh, that's so cool that one piece of styrofoam actually sands the other. That's right. You don't need another tool for Take that. Take away all your little fuzzies. Mm -hmm. Now I have one that I already cut here. Mm -hmm. And to cover this one, you would oh. just fold up your so edges. Now, so this is a whole roof ready to go kind of like on a narrow box? That's right. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Just understanding same, what I got here. Yeah, same idea. You can fit this on the top of your box. Great. And then you would just fold this all down mm -hmm. and glue it together so that you have your rooftop there. Okay. So what do we do with this paper? Okay, so the paper, this is for making our windows and doors. Okay. And we're going to take our ruler and... It's in your caddy? Yeah, and then just cut along the edge of the ruler. So you can trace the pencil line here, mm -hmm. or you can just eyeball it and cut it out. Okay. You know, I'm an eyeballer okay. myself. I know, me too. So cut a long strip. Uh-huh. And then here are some pieces that I have that are already cut. Great. And then I'll just choose the ones that I want to use for my windows and doors. Okay, so let's do a big window here at the top. Okay. I'll show you why in just a sec. Okay. So we'll glue this I'll one on. I'll this up for you. This is going to be a big window. All right, we can imagine this is going to be filled. Like a big si skyscraper? Yeah, it's going to be a skyscraper, and this is going to be one big window here at the top. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to make this stained glass. We are. How are we yes. going to do that? 
So what we'll do is we'll take some watercolor paper. Okay. And this is a, our paint. Now watercolor paper is different than like regular paper, right? That's right. It has a really nice tooth to it. This oh, okay. texture it's really a helps. Bumpy. Yeah. Okay. And it helps pick up the paint, and it also helps spread it out. Great. So you know, you and this also just, um, it's really heavy duty. It is heavy, and that's great for making this type of project mm -hmm. because you can really cut it. Now I wet it a little bit first, but oh, you don't yeah. have to. Okay. You can start adding your paint. Let's say we want to see if you get it a little bit wetter. Okay. Then it makes your color spread out more. Oh. If you if it's less wet, you get a little streaky motion. Yeah. Very cool. And yeah. so this is our stained glass then. That's right. So now oh. we're going to cut this out. Okay. And make this be some stained glass. Now we might want to add another color here. I love to mix colors right on paper. That's my favorite thing Me to do. Too. And you, can and really you don't have to make it, it even look a special way. You're just creating the colors that then you can cut up and right. put back together any way you want. That's even. right. And so once this is dry, <gasps> then ta -da, ta da! We can just cut a piece of this to fit over the top nice. of our other window. I think this is going to be pretty close here. Let's see. There you go. I'll hold it for you. Thanks. You know what? You could also cut some strips to make like mullions or That's right. you could do cut it up in little mosaics. Yeah, so let's glue this on. I want to glue that on. That's great. Yep. I have need to hold it down while you it dries. You do. You need to hold it down while it dries or you can even put a little piece of tape maybe over that to hold it down. Hold it while it's drying. Perfect. Okay. And if we did want to add extra layers, mm -hmm. then we would just trim them to lay right across the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. Add more windows. Add more windows. Add more doors. There seems to be a lot of great potential for this.